Hey there, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can EQ your vocals correctly from start to finish. Now, when many people start EQing their vocals, they usually run into one or two problems. Either it sounds too harsh or it sounds too thin in the mix. But in this tutorial, this will be the very last one you need to know how to EQ your vocals correctly so that it sounds full and it sounds balanced in the beat. So if you're new, hit the subscribe button down below and let's get started. So right here, I have a song. Let's listen. I don't even sleep at night no more. This only is my dinner. I go meet my doctor. Make it come out my heart drop and for joy. Girl, I could give it all I swear. Girl, I could give my life for you. This is more than love. So first we're going to load up our EQ, we're going to use FL Studio's Parametric EQ2. It doesn't matter what EQ you use, what matters is understanding the principle behind it, okay? And the very first type of EQ we're going to do is called the Subtractive EQ. Now what this does is that it subtracts or removes unwanted or unnecessary frequencies from our vocal, all right? And when you are trying to remove unnecessary frequencies from vocals, there are usually two key parts you need to look out for. The first is the low-end mode, that is low-end rumble. That is the part you really can hear in the vocal mix that usually gets captured by your mic. And then you also have the resonance in the vocal, okay? So we're going to look out, take out these two areas with our subtractive EQ. So first of all, we're going to come right here, come to the low band, right click, type with a high pass filter, then order and steep eight, okay? So it just shaves off the frequencies, okay? The, the frequency you typically leave this are depending on a few factors. One, the quality of the microphone. Most high-end microphones tend to have more body, more presence, okay? And also, it depends on the tone of the artist's vocal. Some artists do have bass voice, while some have, you know, very tiny voice. So you have to be careful on how much you take out. But for, you know, for the sake of this lesson and for most parts of I mix, I recommend between 90 hertz to 150 hertz, all right? So anywhere between there, that point you should be fine you shouldn't have you know too much exaggeration on your vocal but again just adjust and listen for example if i come to 90 hertz i'll keep adjusting gradually between 90 and 150 hertz here i hear where it sounds most natural okay i'm trying to make the vocal sound thin at the same time i'm trying to leave unnecessary frequencies that we don't need behind okay I don't even sleep at night no more. This only is my dinner. I go meet my Now, if you're listening, the book has already sounded too thin at 150 heads when it's off. Yes, the reason my head seems. I don't even sleep at night no more. This only so, this is when it's in solo at 150 heads. You hear the difference, how it sounds thinner. Yes, the reason my head seems. I don't even sleep at night Off. no more. This only is my dinner. I go meet my doctor. Make it come out my heart drop and for joy. Girl, I could give it all. So 150 hertz may be too heavy for this vocal. So I need to back down a bit, okay? So obviously, you want to do this in solo. Please do not do this in solo. Do it with the beats playing or with the instruments playing. Yes. The reason my head seems. I don't even sleep at night no more. This only is my dinner. I go meet my doctor. Make it come out my heart drop and for joy. Girl, I could give it all I swear. Girl. See, now it sound a lot more natural in the vocal. Does it sound too thin at the same time? We don't have those unnecessary frequencies roaming about. Now, the next thing we need to do is remove the resonance in the vocal, okay? Hey there. So, before we go any further, down to let you know you can get our course. The link is in the description below. This course will teach you from start to finish how to mix and master like a pro. So, if you're interested in learning how to mix, how to stop getting those thin, harsh and you know poor quality mixes this course is the ideal course for you that are a beginner or you know you've gone some extent on your own this course will give you the proper direction and let you know what you really need to know on how to mix like a pro it's pretty affordable you can get it link is in the description below all right so let's get back to the lesson now there are several ways you can remove resonance from vocals okay but we're going to just use this simple method we're just going to take this um dials right here that is these knobs then we're just going to use our mouse wheel and um drag in and if you don't have a mouse wheel you can just come to this button right here and then make sure it's all the way in like it's tiny like this how we can have this notch and we're going to sweep across till we hear a consistent ring in the vocal all right you may need to put on headphones for this so you can easily hear it I don't even sleep at night no more. This only is my dinner. I 
I go meet him at doctor. Make he come out my heart drop and for joy. Girl, I could give it all I swear. Girl, I could give my life for you. This mess, the reason my head say mess. We can hear that ring there. So I'm going to bring this down. You want to go not more than minus three, between minus one to minus three dB. You know, it's a safe space to be. So just bring it down. Then do this again here. to turn off the EQ and then we hear it sounds before and after this is before Now, if you notice, the vocals do sound cleaner, but there's a slight drop in volume, okay? But that's okay. We can easily fix that. Now, if you also run into this issue where your beats and vocals currently are at the same level and you want to increase or you want your vocals to be a little bit above your beats, instead of trying to push this slider up, just simply drop the volume of your beats down. So now we're done with our subtractive EQ. The next thing we need to do now is additive EQ. Okay, this is simply where you use your EQ to enhance areas of the vocal that you like. All right, you know, we just took out areas that we do not like. So let's enhance areas that we like. All right, and for that, I'll be using the Sheps EQ right here. Okay, this is an analog modeled equalizer. Now it has a few bands on like FL Studios EQ that has lots of bands, all right? But it's also very easy to use. So the first thing we're going to look at right here is the low, the mid, and the high. These are the bands, all right? And then well, sometimes some EQs do have already pre-selected frequencies you can work on, while some give you a little bit of room to adjust. Like for example, right here, you can see we have um, 35 hertz, 60 hertz, 110 to 20 hertz, right? And here you can see we have just fixed 12 kilohertz you can't adjust the frequency you can only change the notch that is the q okay you can only change that you can only boost that range i mean so some eq so you need to be wary of this some eqs will not give you that much room like fl studios eq that's why we typically use um parametric eq like this to have more control over the areas that we don't want all right so now let's start with the low so i'm just going to add a little bit of body just a little bit. Then I want to reduce some high end sharpness a little. Then just add a little bit in the mids, but for the mids, I want that body so i'm going to bring it down to 700 hertz for vocals you want to get more body on the vocals is typically between um 200 hertz to 700 800 hertz that's where you typically get more more weight from the vocal okay and if you want more crispiness you typically target around 2k to 5k hertz on the vocal sometimes even up to 8k hertz on the vocal Make 
So if I turn off the EQ. I don't even sleep at night no more. This only is my dinner. I go meet my doctor. Make it come out my heart drop and for joy. Girl, I could give it the last. There's a way it falls into the beat when this um plugin is or is turned off. Then when it's on its way, it comes off, comes out in the beats. I don't even sleep at night no more. This only is my dinner for joy. I go meet my doctor. Make it come out my heart drop and for joy. Now we're done using additive EQ for our vocals. Now this can swing anyway really it doesn't have to be this preset all the time for example sometimes i even do cut the low end for some vocals sometimes i do cut the mids sometimes i i boost the highs okay so you have to listen and adjust carefully do not you may just exaggerate just to hear what's going on but do not you know play with the knobs too much just adjust carefully and listen to the changes do the on and off test continuously because one thing mixing is easy for you know you to do a lot and ruin the mix okay so little changes and then hear how it sounds before and after so now if you notice we're having these sharp s's coming on shadow is pronouncing words that have s's in them so we use the dsr to take care of that and um, there's only a limit that your eq can do so i'm going to be using isotope rx dsr it's a really easy to use dsr just bring it the threshold down and then we're listing now this is too much i'm going to raise it up I don't even sleep at night no more. This only is my dinner for joy. I go meet my doctor. Make it come out my heart drop and for joy. Girl, I could give it all I swear. Girl, I could give my life for you. This is more than love. This more than enough. For a girl I met yesterday. And now if you want that crispy vocal that you're looking for, thinking that it's EQ that will give you that. Well, if you can make your vocal a bit crispy, yes, it can. But you're going to use an exciter like Fresh Air from Slate Digital. There are many there are many alternatives to this. I'll show you FL Studio stock alternative. Then you just increase right here. I don't even sleep at night no more. This only is my dinner for joy. I go meet my doctor. You can hear the difference, right? My heart drop and for joy. Girl, I could give it all I swear. Girl, I could give my life for you. This is more than love. This more than enough. For a girl I met yesterday. All the effects turned off. Yes. There is in my head, same as. I don't even sleep at night no more. This only is my dinner for joy. I go meet my dog on. Make it come out my heart drop and for joy. Girl, I could give it all I swear. Girl, I could give my life for you. This is more than love. This more than enough. All right, that sounds good. Well, now let's see the FL Studios alternative. Let me turn on fresh air. For FL Studio alternative, I like using multiband compressor, fruity multiband compressor. Then there's a preset in here called Bright. All right, but we have to do some tweaks in here. So first of all, I have to relax the compression on the low band. That is, relax the threshold, relax this, adjust the gain on the low band and the mid band, okay? Then just leave the high band as it is. Yes. There is in my head, same as I don't even sleep at night no more. This only is my dinner for joy. I go meet my doctor. And if it's too crisp, you can reduce the gain yes. on the high band. There is in my head, same as I don't even sleep at night no more. This only is my dinner for joy. I go meet my doctor. Make it come out my heart drop and for joy. Girl, I could give it all I swear. Girl, I could give my life for you. This is more than love. This more than enough. For a girl I met yesterday. Yeah. And this is how you can get a good vocal mix without sounding too thin or too harsh in the mix. If you found this helpful, hit the like button and subscribe for more tutorials, tips, and tricks.